or less light I'm gonna make less light so it's gonna bring me more of the texture so it's kinda metal you can fit texture to button um, you can enlarge it so you can play the way you want it you can use the stock or you can use your own but you need to place the textures in the textures folder in the cool button designer you can adjust the size of the border let's say I would like to have like so okay you can always come back to your uh, always come back to whatever you're doing and check the uh, the progress and change the values uh, button border where you can adjust the border let me show you what I mean to let's go heavy like 7 you can see the borders are huge so basically this on the right side site those images represents what you're gonna get okay light properties light properties it's where you can adjust the way light approach on the button like on a on that border if you're using the uh, uh, Windows 7 style it's just going to be on a border if you're using classic version it's going to control over the whole button if you're using of office 2003 2007 it's going to be applied only to the border as well like over here but you can bring the light like so you can see that little thing you can change the color of that light like like so and you can move the position adjust the position whatever you like and the size of that width and height okay and let's stick with the white like so and maybe a little bit upper like so okay and uh, light properties as you saw I just open this again and you can change uh, something if you like anytime then um, at hyperlink is where you can set the website after user will click on the button which website will open so over here you need to type your website and click add link and it will set then add text pretty simple and basically it's where you type the text and um, this is the search so I'm gonna do search and I'm gonna apply bold and bigger size you can uh, play with your favorite fonts but it doesn't work with some some sort of fonts so keep that in mind it doesn't work with all fonts works only with a true type as you can see so you can uh, basically set the size that you like and the uh, position the text should be up here then make it shadowed if you like to have a shadowed or apply some beveled effect or engraved glow glow beveled glow uh, engraved glow shadowed it's up to you I'm gonna use the shadow then you can adjust the uh, the color let's say white I would like to have white in normal state but when we're gonna put the mouse over I would like to change it to yellow I'm gonna give them basic um, way to see that button works like so and when they're gonna click um, let's say keep it as a black it's fine 
then um, you can also apply the multiplier almost to every effect the way the shadow will appear and um, some other effects over here as you can see you can make text transparency value to like in the middle and it's gonna be transparent on the bottom on a button almost and play the way you like it to bring um, better visual effect whatever your fantasy will tell you to do as you can see it's pretty dynamic okay and uh, you can come back and change anytime then add icon that's where the font comes where you can uh, add the icon to your text by clicking on every single state like mouse over um, mouse pressed and let me show you cool button designer version 7.1 and newer versions comes with the 50 images uh, of pre-builded stocks for you to use in your projects with cool button designer and I'm doing a search project and let me see if I have something under the search 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 and yeah I do I, I do have something like those that I can use and uh, look like I'm gonna use this guy right here okay and uh, you can see the icons are so big uh, they're designed for huge buttons but you can always resize that to the way you think it's going to be alright with you then uh, apply the position like so in the middle or to the left and also manually like so adjust it exactly where you want them to be that icon to be so I like it like so nice okay you can also add the reflection like so and adjust the reflection transparency the way it's going to it's going to appear like fully transparent let me show it to you like so and adjust the gradient level of the transparency so as you can see you can make it like all the way to 100 which is gonna bring it to all the way but you can make it less transparent like so and play with that gradient and maybe lower down the reflection transparency on the bottom like so so it's gonna give you the realistic look just play as you can see dynamic um, is right right everywhere in the cool button designer so you can pretty much achieve with the ba with the dynamics buttons dynamics results with every single button almost whatever your fantasy will tell you to do and let's say uh, let me show you how to do the basic animation I'm gonna uh, add the same button icon but this time you can see it's big so I need to adjust it but this time I'm gonna make it smaller like so and it's gonna bring me a little bit of the um, effect of the animation and it's going to appear on my button like this on the web which is nice it's one of the thoughts how you can play and how you can trick the cool button designer okay and you can adjust so it's mouse over and you can adjust for mouse press state you can put some something when they're gonna press let's keep it the same as the mouse normal alright and also you can adjust the image transparency the way the image gonna appear on the button as you can see it's more transparent and goes to completely to the transparency to the button so it's up to you to play with that zero value means that it's clear but you can diffuse into the button as you can see alright alright well thank you so much for watching
My name is Alexander Morose and today you just watched a basic introduction to Cool Button Designer version 7.1. You can purchase this software over at mrzmedia.com website. Thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to try the Cool Button Designer. Give it a spin. Uh, the trial is completely free. Only the trial will, will bring you a watermark on your button and uh, when you're gonna buy a license for the cool button designer it's going to look like so without any watermarks. As you can see the software is registered on my name so it doesn't have no watermarks. It will happen when you will buy the license and the license cost $9.99 and I think this is the unbeatable value for the one of the best web button maker and uh, graphic user interface maker application out there also you can go file you can save it as a template you can save it as the button for the web with all three states or just one state and those four formats let me show it to you real quick so let's say I wanna save them all okay and also by clicking generate HTML code it's gonna uh, generate you the HTML code automatically it's ready to integrate into your web, web page HTML web page as you can see right here and you can copy and control C copy it or click this button copy it for you in your clipboard or click control C it will select all and control C it will just do the same thing and then control V also you can export to clipboard every single state like normal state or mouse over or mouse pressed into your clipboard so you can um, import them in the Photoshop, Paintbrush, Coral Draw, whatever is your favorite um, image editor application is. Alright? And if you have any questions, you can use this little button. By pressing on it, it will bring you to a MRZ Media website and um, you can ask your questions. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander Morose. I'm the lead developer for the Cool Button Designer. Please go ahead and give it a spin. Bye-bye now.